And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Los Angeles Angels and the Texas Rangers. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Okay, let's jump in, Chris. It's August. The postseason races are starting to take shape, and these divisional matchups are really starting to impact the standings. Yeah, Boog, these two teams play each other a lot, and maybe it's easy to think, hey, they know your holes and your weaknesses, but these are the matchups during the season that matter more in the standings than the rest of the games. These are the ones that really add up at the end of the year and can set you up for a strong finish in the month of September. Coming up on the first pitch, today's starting pitcher, Brandon Parra. Yeah, Boob made his Major League debut last time out, came away with the victory. That's huge for a young kid. He'll look to make it two wins in a row, get his career off to a really good start. And now, David Fletcher. Leading off of the Angels, the shortstop, David Fletcher. And the pitch. That smash towards center. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Gio Urshela steps in. One of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. Base hit, left center field. Fletcher, round second on his way to third. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Back-to-back -back base hits. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Wow. Here's Mike Trout. Very used to hitting in spots like this. Right now, second in the AL in RBIs. Foul ball there. Well, Singy, Mike Trout, the resume speaks for itself. A guy that's won multiple MVPs, multiple All-Star Game MVPs, a Rookie of the Year. I mean, he's going to go down as one of the best position players ever. Yeah, the right-hander deals. And a strike. Yeah, Mike Trout, since the day he got to the big leagues, a, a superstar. And it's been amazing to watch because earlier in his career, you figured he would taper off some. He wouldn't be a you know top three finisher in the MVP. Remember several years he was finishing behind Miguel Cabrera and then just emerged as the guy. And incredible to see what he's done over all these years. Off the mark there. And it's two and two. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Rojas settles under it. Urshela at second with nobody out. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Here's the 2-2. And there's a ball. Full count. And it's second. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Here's Shohei Otani. Second in the AL in home runs. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. Nothing happening on the bases, though. Let's 
great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. And that one fouled off. Swings and misses. One, two. One and two. Got him. And now one away. Hunter Renfro at the plate. Seventh right now in the American League home run leaderboard. And fouled off. The 0 1. Popped up first base side. And the infield fly rule call. The first here is Wall. So in now for the Angels, Jared Walsh. First That's offering the misses the mark. At this point, the clean inning is over. Got to settle in, focus on the hitter, and get out of it with minimal damage. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Thompson fires it to the plate, and he's in there. And a run comes in to score. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Taylor Ward digs in now. That's in there. Strike one. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. And a foul ball. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. This one smoked out to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. Angels two, and the Rangers nothing. Bottom of the first. And now the center fielder, Bubba Thompson. The center fielder, Bubba Thompson. And a bunt towards third. Boots it. It doesn't surprise anyone when he gets on base by dropping down a bunt. I mean, this is just the latest example of him using his speed to his advantage and showing off his skills with the bat. That was very nice. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit.
Now snap throw to first. Thompson back easily. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. 3-1. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And a pitch. Late swing fouled off. Snap throw to first. Thompson gets back easily. Thompson aboard here at first with nobody out. Swing and a ball popped up. And that's a fair ball. And now runners at the corners. Nobody out. Well, those kind of lucky soft hits will always make you smile. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. And here's Corey Seager to hit. Hitless in four at bats yesterday. Swing, and that one hammered. Down the line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is out of here. Corey Seager leaves the yard. And just like that, they're out front. It's 3-2. That's just a great feeling as a hitter. You let the ball travel, tracked it pretty nicely. He's almost beat there, but he gets the bat head in time, and it's true enough to stay fair. I mean, that's a good feeling when you can hit an opposite field home run, and he did it right there. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Ball, that's outside. Pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Next offering is fouled back. Got him. Simeon down on strikes. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. Kicks and deals. This to third. Fair ball. Well, he found himself behind in the count right it. there, but he didn't give the in. Just a cookie down the middle. Out. I mean, those are the ones you dream Yo about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. Hitless yesterday, as they only pushed across one run. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. It's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Two and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Step off, throw to first. Go. Garcia back in on a dive. Another move to first. Oh. And they're keeping him close. Still only one out here in the inning. Rudder takes off. Swing and a miss. Safe at second, and that was not close. That is tough. The second baseman. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. One run batted in yesterday. Their only run of the game. Runner leads away at second. Good eye right there.
in the dirt well done behind the dish Sam Huff in the on deck circle. At the belt and fires. He caught it behind his back to first, and they get the out. What a play to end the inning. There's no way he saw that into the glove. No, you're absolutely right. All he knew was the grounder was somewhere behind him. Just threw his glove out there, and it stuck. That was pretty cool. Second inning set to go. Now here is Anthony Rendon. Anthony. Anthony Rendon, an outstanding player in college. He went to Rice, the sixth overall pick by the Nationals in the 2011 draft, and then eventually signed with the Angels as a free agent. Don't forget saying he was part of that Nats team that won it all in 2019. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Batting nine, the catcher, number 33, Max, Max Stassi comes Stassi. up to him. He gave up a couple of runs in the first. His offense picked him up. It's time for him to settle in now and throw up some zeros on that scoreboard. That's hard hit on the line. And there's two down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you now hit it too out. hard Hits and right at someone. David. You're looking for one of those Fletcher. bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. So the lineup flips over. Here's David Fletcher. And first offering is fouled off. They say it went. No ball, two strikes. Next pitch oh. misses. One and two to count. On the ground to third. Whips it to first. Fletcher retired. And that is that. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Rangers three and the Angels two. Bottom half of inning number two. Well, the now Rangers. the catcher for the Rangers. The catcher. Sam Huff. Sam Huff. And he deals. Swing and a pop-up. And it falls. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. Kind of your classic jam shot blooper right there. Made a good pitch on the inside. Batting got him to hit it off the handle, the but he still hit. muscled it out there. there. You just have to tip your cap on the mound. Here's yeah. a strike. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. The punch out there, now one away. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. The you want. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. And here it comes. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. A couple of oh, hits in a row range. for him here. Timing on the, the right swing field. was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much Margo. as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Manuel Margot up to the plate. 
One two to Margot. Swing and a miss. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Oh, that high four seam fastball now has become that. such a Good staple stop. as a strikeout Corey. pitch over the years. And what's so Seeker. tough as a hitter is that you see it extremely well. The problem is the velocity and spin rate just happens to jump by you. You expand your zone, you don't stay tall on the backside, and you're really not even able to make contact. If you do, many times it's a pop up. Now it's Corey Seeger. Stays alive. Up the middle, Rendon. Over to first, and Seeger is set down. That is the inning. No runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We play two full. It's the Rangers three, and the Angels two. All set for the start of the inning. Now the third baseman, Gio Urshela. Gio. Urshela. Urshela batting second in today's lineup, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Para back to work. And that one ripped into right. Margot makes the grab one down. Now batting the seventh fielder, Mike. And now batting Mike Trout. He reached out a walk his first time. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well look out because the sky's the limit on that potential and it's through for a hit so they get a man aboard with a one out single now that designated hit. that extends his hitting streak to an even dozen oh, singy God. do opposing pitchers start to take notice when a guy's on a roll like this yeah, I think so, Boog. It's not like it changes the scouting report on a guy or anything like that too much, but you're aware of who's swinging the hottest bat, and that's definitely him right now. Shohei Otani up to the dish. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one. 0-1. Oh And a pitch. And there's a foul ball. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's going to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Next pitch no, just misses, and that's ball one. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. That one the other way, and that's a fair ball. Trout around second, headed for third. Across is the runner from first. It's 3-3. Three, three. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost art for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Man at second with one away. And next for the Angels, Hunter Renfro. First pitch, not out. close. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And Renfro is retired. And there are two outs. Now batter, the first baseman, Jared Walsh. Jared Walsh, the next to hit for the Angels. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. That right. one catches the zone. Going one. That's oh, a real nice cutter right there. I mean, this guy can struggle with the inside pitch at times. So I'd say that's pretty effective if you can continue to command it on that side of the plate. 
Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Caught him looking for the K. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Back here at the ballpark, here is Marcus Simeon. Chris Marcus Simeon, Bay Area guy, played his college ball at Cal. White Sox selected him in the sixth round in 2011, and he has developed into a fine player. Yeah, and he comes from a really good athletic line. His dad played football at Cal. His mom was also an athlete in college, and this guy is just a really good leader on a ball club. Had a breakout to his career when he went to Toronto and started hitting home runs left and right. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. And now the lefty he swings and fouls one off. And a pitch. That's the ball. So here we go. Base runner at first. Could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Hit in the air, right field. Snags it on the run. And there's one away. Now battle. The third baseman. Josh Donaldson. Here's Josh Donaldson. Struck out swinging his first time. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Simeon runs. It's in the dirt. Throw to second, great jump, and that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. And a ball and two strikes. Swings and misses, struck him out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs no in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, Roger. have to be ready to pull the trigger. Roger. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Simeon at second with two down. Rodgers checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. And Kenny Jansen punches him out. That's a strikeout. They get a leadoff single but leave him stranded. On to inning number four. All tied up at three apiece. As we go to the top of the fourth. Stepping in, Taylor Ward. Number three, Taylor Ward. The pitch. That's in there, and that is strike one. You know, these Angels doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. They're hitting everything thrown at them. Their contact rate is in the low 90s. It's like they know what's coming, and that's just pretty ridiculous what they're doing right now. Those numbers are well above the major league average. And looks like he wants the signs again as he steps off the rubber. Here comes a pitch. And a base hit into right center field. Really nice job of two strike hitting and that at bat. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure. Home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Nobody out. Runner at first. A 
next offering upstairs. Fly ball down the line. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there's one down. The captain, number 33, Max Stassi. Max Stassi, the next to hit for the Angels. He's over one. Edge of the zone for a strike. 0 and 1. That's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Lined, and that's a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. He needed out one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Great hands on that swing. Took the barrel right to the baseball. Caught it out front and ripped it into the gap. At that point, probably no question in his mind that he was going for two. That's just a great feeling. Back to the top of the Angels lineup. And now David Fletcher. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. And that's in for a strike. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And that one ripped to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Now back. First baseman. Gio. Gior Shella to the play. One for two. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. And that one pulled foul. Pitch. Two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Welcome back. Bottom four. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Sam Huff. On the ground. Urshela to first in time. One up, one down. Now batting. The first baseman. Miguel Rojas at the play. Rojas. Here's a 2-1. And another ball. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. In for a strike. Three and two now. Activity in the bullpen for the Angels. Griffin Cannon preparing to come on if needed. Back to work. Three, two now. And he walked him. Now batting. No Here's Bubba leader. Thompson. Bubba Thompson. The 1 1. Good. Rojas, the runner at first, with one gone in the inning. The 
The one two. Swing and a pop up. Fletcher puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Right good hard Number fastball 13. up in the zone right there. They right look down. really good coming in, but Margo. so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Here's Manuel Margot. Wormburner into the outfield for a knock. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. The batter, number five. Shortstop. Here Corey. comes the skipper, and we're going to see a Caesar. pitching change in this spot. Jose Suarez out of the game, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. New pitcher on now, Griffin Cannon. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. So now it's Corey Seager. He's already homered here in this one. That misses the zone. And it's two and one. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Next offering is downstairs. Marcus Simeon waiting to hit for the Rangers. And the 3-1. Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. I love how he tracked the ball right there and was able to get through that fastball just a little bit late. Otherwise, it stays fair. I think if the top hand is a little stronger, same swing produces a home run. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Two outs, bases full. Next to bat, the Texas cleanup hitter, Marcus Simeon. Swing at a chopper. They come home with it for the force out, and that'll do it for the inning. Rangers threaten, but leave them loaded. Score remains tied at three. And welcome back. New inning getting started. So in now for the Angels, Mike Trout. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Pitch. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. You know, these Angels, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They've been lining the ball all over the ballpark, and unfortunately, sometimes it's right into a glove. But still, they've hit nine line drives so far, and that's something they should feel very good about. Oh, and two now. Line drive, caught! That'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you let it. I mean, he couldn't have hit that ball more on the screws than he did, and yet he's got nothing to show for it. Hang with him. I know the feeling. Digging in, Shohei Otani. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Oh, well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly into an 0 2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. 
Left hand batter waits. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Now it's Hunter Renfro. In there, and it's 0-1. a strike the 0-2 swing and a miss struck him out Angels held in check so no change in the score it's 3-3 Bottom of the inning, here's the left fielder, Adolis Garcia. He's a guy, Chris's highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. They say you win. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. That one misses, and that's ball two. Swings and misses. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Yeah, the batter now, Josh Donaldson, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And the righty deals. And a good oh. eye there. Really good take, especially with two Double. strikes. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, no finding no. all the holes in his swing and his man. approach, just frustrating right for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Got it by him for the K. Nothing across here this half. We're through five, all tied up at three apiece. Back here at the ballpark, top of the sixth inning. And here's the first baseman, Jared Walsh. The first baseman, Jared Walsh, a Walsh. former All-Star, 29 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Wisconsin. And he hits a ground ball right side, fires over to first. Walsh retired. The left fielder, number three, Taylor. So digging Ward. in, Taylor Ward. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. That one That's ran inside, almost got him. Straightened him up wow. a little bit. Next offering is in for a strike. Right On the inside corner for a strike. Right 
Swing and a ball popped up. Rodgers has this one sized up, and he makes the catch. And there's two away. Second baseman, Anthony Rendon. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. That one, one misses out. in the dirt. Yeah. And there's a strike. He's gotten into a really good rhythm, sat down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. There's a 1-1. One -one. And that one wrapped foul. Out towards left center, Thompson gliding to his right, grabs it on the run, and the inning is over. No runs, no hits, no errors. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. All tied up at three apiece. Bottom of the sixth, and now the catcher comes up to him. Sam Huff. The next pitch misses, oh. and it's two and one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Andrew Watts getting loose out there. The two one. Chopped out in front of the plate. Sends it to Walsh. One up, one down. Now batting the first baseman. Miguel Rojas getting ready to hit. Rojas. In the dirt. Stassi up with it to first. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. Next up for Texas, Bubba Thompson. Two down, nobody on. That one, 95 to finish him off. One, two, three, go the Rangers. Still tied, three and three. Johnny Brebbia takes over on the mound. And if you dig into his walk rate, his numbers are really impressive. He's really filled up the strike zone this season, so these guys better be ready to swing the bats. Here's the catcher, Max Stassi. The catcher, number 33, Max Stassi. The wind of the pitch. Pulls the string with the changeup, struck him out. Way out in front of that inside pitch there, and just exactly the opposite kind of approach that you want with two strikes. You want to let the ball travel, make sure you recognize it, try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play. Clearly fooled, but I think even more so, you question the two strike approach. And now, David Fletcher. That misses two and one. That's a strike. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. Back to back strikeouts. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. And I'm so glad I'm retired. Here's Gio Urshela. And he grounds one to the right side. Out number three. Ladies and gentlemen. 
and gentlemen, please join us for the traditional seven-minute stretch. Bottom of the seventh. Now the number two hitter, Manuel Margot. The right fielder, Manuel Margot. Here's a 1-1. Nope, ball. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Kicks and fires. Got him swinging. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Not shortstop. Corey Seager. Seager stands in now. He's already homered in this game. Swung on, belted. Trap going back, back some more. Hauls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. Just off the outside edge. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing up at three apiece. We're at the top of the eighth. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And that ball is out of here. He circles the bases, his 39th home run of the season. And that's how they take the lead. It's 4-3. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. That was one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit below wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows. Now at the plate, Shohei yeah. Otani. That one in for a strike, two and two. Oh, he just got it deleted. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Next uh -huh. one is off the plate, and it's three and two. Full count. The wind of the pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. You can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Got him. That's his second strikeout. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Bounced out to short. Seeger throws across the diamond. That's out number three. So only one hit in the inning, the solo homer, and it puts him ahead. Last half of the eighth coming up. Angels four. So the Angels turn to their bullpen for a new pitcher, Jimmy Hergit. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the ball. Jimmy Hergit. 
run at the plate. Goes down looking. Well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound, no question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's should help soften the blow. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team with that right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. On a pinch run, Leone Tavares. Just not able to square it up. 3-2. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. At the plate, Sam Huff, one for three. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. We're back, it's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Dominic Leon. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Now so coming into the game now on defense, Brad Miller. He's Brad the new third baseman. Miller. Well, one run Leading game. The now the left fielder, the Taylor left fielder. Ward. Taylor Ward. Righty delivers. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back there. And forget it. So he leaves the yard to left, his 12th of the season, and they boost their lead. It's 5-3. Zingy, that's his 50th career homer. 50 might not sound like a huge number, but it's a nice little milestone that a lot of guys don't get to. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Now it's down to their final strike. Check swing, appeal to first. Yes, he did. Down he goes on strikes. But with this sixth win in a row, all of a sudden, you start to look around, up and down the lineup, to your left, to your right as a player, and you say, you know what, we're good. Uh, we may have had some tough times earlier on, but this is a good team, and you start to expect this kind of play out of yourselves. We'll see if this translates into a longer winning streak than it is right now. A 5-3 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.